Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a simple plugin uh, that helps you automatically create table of contents uh, for your blog posts and uh, also helps you uh, put a sitemap listing all pages or categories across your entire website. This simple plugin is found in the WordPress repository and um, it is called the table of contents plus. So far it has over 300 plus active installs. I have used it uh, on my blog and it has helped me to automatically create table of contents whenever I publish my blogs on my website. So something like this, only this blog post is over 5,000 words and you can scroll over and over and over. So what it helps me to do is um, if someone comes to this blog post and they just want to read something specifically somewhere under this blog, they can just click on one of the selected hyperlinks uh, that were automatically created by this plugin. For example, like how to install WordPress, it will automatically drive them straight there. So it's an interesting plugin that helps you to help your visitor easily navigate your long form content and also create uh, sitemaps for uh, your website using WordPress. So uh, how does it look like in the back end? When you install it, this is how it appears like. It's table of contents plus. It can be found under settings. It is TOC plus. And um, just to read through under settings, TOC plus. Boom, so here we are. You can do a couple of tweaks to suit how you want it to appear on your website and your contents. Just to go through, one, you can decide. For example, these are the main options if you just want to use it as a, as a table of contents within the blog posts. You can select the position, uh, it to appear before the first heading and uh, show when three or more headings appear. For example, you may write a blog post and it's very short and it has like three uh, or only having two headlines. So you don't want a table of content to appear on a blog post of about 300 words. So you can select where you want this to appear, whether it appears after the first paragraph or it appears in pages or it appears in, in posts. So for my case, I only selected it to appear in uh, posts, but there are even uh, websites that are having very long pages. And so you want a table of content to appear somewhere uh, in one of those long pages. So there are a couple of other options where you can select this table of content to display. And then the heading text, what it shows um, to the visitor. For example, you can tweak this and then say uh, table of contents or uh, contents or list of contents. So just like it is there, this is how it is here, list of contents. And uh, you can tweak around and say, allow the user to toggle the visibility of the table of contents, like show or hide, <coughs> like show or hide, for example, hide the table, hide the table of contents initially. So when you logged, when you open any of my blog posts, for example, uh, computer facts, you realize that the table of contents is initially closed list of content so it is initially closed just as i, I had uh, selected here like it is initially hidden just like i had selected here so it is hidden and someone can just show and they see whatever is happening within the post so those are tricks you can uh, do within here and then show hierarchy list uh, number number list items for example if within the blog post there are different headers and talking about different subjects this type of contents will automatically generate the numbers one two three um, four and so that helps someone to know okay i was under section number four uh, 4.2 and uh, you can select the width uh, how how wide you want it to appear like on the on the page, it can be 100%, it can be only 20 pixels. 
depending on what you want and the wrapping the wrapping is basically this show you uh, this and this so how you want it to wrap content and the other thing is the font size the percentage how you want it to appear like so the type of contents plugin comes with a couple of templates to help you to choose from you can select the gray which i use light blue the white one and even a custom if you want to um going to the advanced settings you can still uh, choose a number of things which i personally didn't put into effect because i i already had what i wanted so you guys if you want to ensure anchors are in lowercase hyphenation include in the home page and all those other options you can set them up here and on the other hand we have the sitemap so you can, like I said, you can still use this uh, type of content to generate a sitemap of all your site. And here it says it's at its simplest, placing a sitemap into a page will automatically create a sitemap of all pages and categories. This also works in the widgets. So this is also another interesting tool. So you don't have to go to sitemap.com to generate sitemaps or go to yours to generate sitemaps. This plugin can help you generate sitemaps for your website. So uh you can go through and uh, select and uh, configure how however you want this plugin to help you uh, on your website and i hope it will bring you a ton of value so my question is is this the best uh, table of contents plugin because i have used it now for over two years and i find it um, performing so well i never had any issues uh, whether conflict with changing themes updating wordpress so let me know guys in the comment box below which type of content plugin serves you the best uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video